Hey guys, welcome back to Lori Farm. And let's see if you can answer these basic gardening questions. One thing we're trying to do here is collect rainwater. We're gonna to try to collect it off the roof of the greenhouse and into here so then we can water our plants with it. So why is rainwater so much more beneficial to plants than tap water? Every year we plant these flowers in the planter boxes because they kind of just add a pop of color around here. So can you tell me the difference between an annual and a perennial plant? We use planter box gardens here and they're done for the season for this year, obviously, but I do need to get them ready for next year. When planting seeds, what do you think the average seed depth is? We do a lot of watering around here because we have a lot of plants to water. What do you think the best time of day is to get your watering done? When gardening, it's really important to know the three main elements you need to help a plant grow. Do you know what they are? So why is rainwater so much more beneficial to plants than tap water? Well, it's the nitrogen that's naturally occurring in the rainwater that helps bring nutrients into the plants. Tap water has some, but not nearly as much as rainwater. So can you tell me the difference between an annual and a perennial plant? Well, an annual is only good for one season like these, where you plant them, they spread, and they grow for pretty much the whole season. And a perennial has a shorter growth life, but it does last up to three years, sometimes even more. When planting seeds, what do you think the average seed depth is? Surprisingly, it's only a quarter of an inch. So if you don't know, Go with a quarter of an inch. What do you think the best time of day is to get your watering done? Morning. Morning is the best time because it gives time for the leaves to dry out if they get too wet. The worst time is noon. And the second best time is evening. Well, the three big elements that you do need to get the levels correctly in order to have things grow properly is nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. If you're not sure what your levels are in your soil, you can always get a gardening test kit. So how many did you get right? Leave a note down in the comments and have a great day.